Today we're going back in time to visit the olden days here in beautiful Winona, Minnesota. Now hey guys, it's Jack from Travel with Jack and Kitty and I'm really excited about this video because today we're going to be sharing some vintage images of Winona from the past. Yeah, so last week we were digging around an antique store here in Winona. It's an old brewery with caves dug into the side of Sugarloaf Bluff. We picked up a neat calendar published by the Winona County Historical Society. It's a freebie that you can grab at newsstands with other local tourism pamphlets and brochures. There's some really neat pictures, all of which you can find at the museum. We thought it'd be fun to share them with you because they're really cool pictures from Winona back in the day. If you find yourself in town and have a few hours to kill, we really recommend a visit to the Winona County Historical Society. We'll be sharing a vlog on our YouTube channel of our visit soon. All right, so this first uh, picture is Franklin and Third Streets in downtown Winona, Minnesota after a snowstorm. The Watkins Building Tower and Smokestack can be seen in the background. Here's a horse-drawn mobile home on East 2nd Street with the Latch Building in the background in Winona, Minnesota. That's right where the Acoustic Cafe is today. A black and white postcard of an aerial view of Winona, Minnesota at 13,000 feet. Did you know that Winona County Historical Society currently has over 1,730 postcards? During the 1965 flood, the Mississippi River crested well over 22 feet. The current levee and dike system has been well developed because of the record water level, and it still protects the island city of Winona, Minnesota today. This image, one of the many in the Winona County Historical Society's collection, shows the water on Johnson Street looking toward the river. Here's Washington School. May Day celebration in 1915. Washington School was on 4th Street between Zumbro and St. Charles Streets in Winona, Minnesota. Oh, this is one of my favorites. The Houseboat Hobos. They were a group of friends from Winona, Minnesota who during the early 1900s vacationed along the river and made music. Here's a view of the 1909 Winona Free Street Fair at the corner of 3rd and Lafayette Streets. And yes, those are two men in an elephant suit on the high wire. Here's a fun black and white postcard of a float advertising the St. Charles Mercantile Company in St. Charles, Minnesota. Here's the first kindergarten class in the New Madison School in 1933, which still stands on West Wabasha Street in Winona, Minnesota. People posing on Eagle Bluff overlooking Trempolo, Wisconsin. This is a photo by Winona photographer Charles Tenney, one of the most celebrated landscape photographers of the late 1800s. He was based in Minnesota. The Winona County Historical Society has over 700 images by Charles Tenney in their collection. Here's the Bear Creek Trestle near Rolling Stone, Minnesota. This picture was taken in about 1888. A photograph looking east on 3rd Street between Johnson and Main Streets in downtown Winona, Minnesota. Shops seen in the print are the Conrad Fur Store on the left and the Brown Drug Store on the right. All right, guys, so that's about it. All images you just saw are published in a free calendar from the Winona County Historical Society. You can pick up a physical copy at the Winona County Historical Society or at pretty much any newsstand or small business here in town. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Have a super day. Kitty says she's got some hot chocolate for me, so I'm going inside. All right, stay warm.